Do you feel like in, in the real estate world, we're in areas where there's bubbles approaching or is there still value to be made? Well, look, it's a bubble in capital, right? It's not a bubble as we've experienced them in the past, supply and demand. And Sam obviously is right. If you look at multifamily, rentership has increased from 61% to 69% as home ownership has decreased from 69 to 61. And uh, we had a single family rental business, Starwood had a single family rental business, Blackstone had a single family rental business that have proved to be very viable operating entities. On the commercial side, on the retail side, on the industrial side, supply hasn't been exorbitant as it has in the past, but the supply of money, right? Central banks intervening and the liquidity flood and the attractiveness of a postage stamp of safety or capital preservation has been the private markets as well as the public markets for real estate. So cap rates have come way in and it feels bubblicious, right? When you look historically at those spreads. But if you look at them against the 10 year, we're where we've always been. So I, I, I think the answer is that real estate entrepreneurs and, and providers or public companies such as ourselves finding these silos of value added increase in this changing economy. So you have physical obsolescence in the system. You have financial obsolescence in the system. You have functional obsolescence of stuff, right? Bloomberg was ahead of the, this type of office mm -hmm. building mm -hmm. was earth breaking, right? There was never anything built like this before. Right. But if you look now at how tech companies are housing themselves, or WeWork, to have WeWork, which doesn't own mm -hmm. a brick, to have the same market cap or greater as Boston Properties is kind of where we're going.